Welcome to my Days of Our Lives official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Chanel's first sick warning subscribe, Dimitri's captivity release panic Sloan Days of Our Lives, DOOL, spoilers recap for Friday, April 26, reveals that Johnny D. Mara, Carson Boatman, and Chanel D. Mara, Raven Bowens, opened a marriage gift that Ali Horton, Lindsay Arnold, had transferred from New Zealand before accepting one from E.J. D. Mara, Dan Fuerigal, as well. Although E.J. and Nicole D. Mara, Ariane Zucker, had formerly given Chanel and Johnny a Demitas statue, E.J. handed over a check with plenitude of bottoms to help the newlyweds get started in their life together. E.J. also gave Johnny a standing offer to come work for him at Demera Enterprises if he ever changed his mind about joining the family business. Coming on Friday's day's occasion, Johnny and Chanel went apartment stocking, but they plotted to settle on the right place. When Chanel and Johnny ran into Abe Carver, James Reynolds, in the city forecourt, they gave him updates on the hunt for their new home. Meanwhile, Nicole noticed commodity intriguing while reading The Spectator online and dropped a mysterious hint to EJ. After promising she d explain, formerly she got back, Nicole headed to The Spectator office to apply for the open journalist position. Nicole did end have important print media experience, but Chad liked her pitch and admitted she had more experience than him when he first started out. The same went for Xander Cook, Paul Telfer, and Leo Stark, Greg Rickard, so Chad hired Nicole for a trial period to start. The only condition was that Chad did not want Nicole covering anything related to her hubby, so Nicole allowed. That was fair. Back with EJ on Friday's DOL occasion, he got a call from Paulina Price, Jackie Harry, that summoned him to her office ASAP. Paulina laid down the law with EJ about his disastrous press conference that she did and indeed know about and a shady deal with Stefan Demera, Brandon Barish. After Paulina claimed EJ was getting too big for his britches, he reminded her that she broke out of the sanitarium and put people at threat of radiation exposure. EJ added that he de gotten calls from exigency askers who wanted Paulina to face felonious charges, but she claimed no bone got hurt and defended her desire to deliver Chanel. After EJ reconvened with Nicole at home, he fumed over Paulina's treatment of him. EJ also wondered about Nicole's riddle from earlier, so she admitted she just got a job as a journalist at The Spectator. Although EJ bothered it did be a conflict of interest, Nicole explained that she formerly talked to Chad about that and worked it all out. Since EJ could tell Nicole was agitated, he eventually offered his full blessing. EJ indeed had an idea for Nicole's first story and pitched an expose on Paulina, due to all the snowstorm drama. Nicole was unsure it'd be a good idea to come right out of the gate with a story against Salem's cherished mayor, especially when Johnny was married to her son. Indeed so, EJ acted like someone demanded to tell the verity and left Nicole deep in study. Soon later, Nicole called Chad to make a pitch about a new story. Over with Paulina, she watched a movie with Abe at home and set up out he ran into Chanel along with Johnny before. Paulina asked if they were coughing or showed any signs of languor since she was still concerned about the radiation exposure, but Abe said they sounded fine. In the city square again, Chanel suddenly sounded exhausted. Johnny acted like it was accessible since Chanel got up beforehand for the bakery and had been through a tough fire lately. Chanel could slightly keep her eyes open and was eager to get to bed, so she sounded a little weirded out by her prostration position as she went home with Johnny. At Sloan Peterson Brady's, Jessica Surfity, apartment, she flipped out when she got an alert on her phone about Dimitri von Luskner, Peter Port, being released from his outside security captivity. Sloan was Dimitri's attorney on record, so she got the news and incontinently called Melinda Trask, Tina Huang to let her know, there was a extremity. Since Dimitri knew the verity about Jude Brady, Sloan shocked over the possibility that he might gossip. At the Spectator on Friday's day's occasion, Leo gave Chad a punch to hire Eric as a backup shooter before heading to his suite. Outside the Salem Inn, Eric decided there was only one explanation for all the charges there. Eric assumed Sloan must be having an affair and made a phone call to see if he could find out further information. Once Eric managed to learn the exact room number, he was surprised when Leo answered the door. 
Eric didn't get why Sloane was paying for Leo's room, so Leo suggested he should go home and let Sloane unfold. Still, Sloane was formerly on her way over to talk to Leo about Dimitri and ended up shambling in on his discussion with Eric. That gave Eric a chance to defy Sloane as well, so she came up with a bogus story about feeling shamefaced about Leo not having a place to stay or any plutocrat. Sloane acted like she just wanted to help Leo get back on his bases. Eric conceded that the Salem and payments had been going on for six months, which he did end understand since Leo had a job now. Sloane claimed she might be been too generous, and Leo said he was a shopaholic who took advantage of her liberality. After Leo offered in reason on Friday's day's occasion, Sloane accepted it and hugged him. Eric was unsure if he should buy any of this, but he made it clear that there'd be no more supplementing Leo's income or timber room payments. This was over, effective incontinently. EJ rages over Sloan's stolen baby, Chanel's radiation poisoning days of our lives, DOOL, spoilers exercise videotape for the week of April 29th to May 3rd reveals that Constantine Meliunis, John Capello's, will use that red card to his advantage again and extinguish John Black's, Drake Hodgston, programming. It would not be long until the pawn is asking what his charge is, so Constantine will prepare to deliver disturbing orders. Meanwhile, day spoilers say Chanel de Mera, Raven Bowens, will land in the sanitarium, where it LL be determined that she has radiation poisoning. Paulina Price, Jackie Harry, will realize her son's sick because of her, so she LL feel terrible once Kayla Johnson, Mary Beth Evans, gives her updates. Other day spoilers say Leo Stark, Greg Rickard, will make a bold move once Sloan Peterson, Brady, Jessica Surfity, stops all payments. Sloan will refuse to let herself be blackmailed any longer, especially now that Eric Brady, Greg Vaughn, is so suspicious. It would not take Leo long to find EJ D. Mara, Dan Fuerigal, and slip the news that his son did not pass down. After EJ grabs him angrily, Leo will contend the baby's alive and swear that it's true. Once Leo reveals how Sloan ended up with Jude Brady, EJ will realize that Nicole D. Mara, Ariane Zucker, was right from the launch. Everyone tried to move Nicole she was out of her mind with grief when she claimed Jude was actually her natural child, but her mama's suspicion was correct. After EJ gets the scoop from Leo, he LL march down to Sloan's apartment and defy her. EJ will fly into a rage as Sloan holds Jude, so he LL cry that's not her baby. Of course, this would be an excellent time for Sloan to blurt out that it's not EJ's baby moreover. Sloan's only chance at saving herself is to admit the maternity deception and move EJ to join the cover-up. That could be easier than you might suppose, especially since day spoilers say Eric and Nicole will grow closer through their work at The Spectator soon. Sloan may paint quite a picture for EJ and suggest that if the secret comes out, he LL lose Nicole to Eric. The way Sloan will see it, Eric and Nicole could incontinently come one big happy family with Jude and Holly Jonas, Ashley Puzimus. In other words, Sloan may contend EJ should keep his mouth shut if he wants to keep his marriage complete. EJ might suspect Sloan is lying about the maternity in another trouble to trick him, but she may remind him that his sample was used when Nicole demanded a DNA test at the sanitarium. Sloan may invite EJ to run another DNA test if he wants and point out that the results will come out just the same. EJ is end a match for Jude's DNA, so Sloan will probably push him to accept that and bury the secret for both their sakes. DOOL's daily exercise videotape also includes some tense moments between Eric and Leo, but that LL presumably involve a fantasy or further drama over the room Sloan paid for. It LL be intriguing to see if EJ eventually pays Leo to stay quiet once Sloan explains everything and highlights what's at stake.